The following may not be suitable for children under the age of 18. Welcome to the Sky Genie Show, the absolute worst show ever. I am back after a week of being sick with the flu, and what it later turned out to be f- after a visit from the doctor, a chest infection. And if, well, I'm guessing everybody listening to this has had a chest, in- chest infection, and well, let's face it, they suck. Shoutouts to the guys at the Get in the Corner podcast. They are on Mixler on Wednesday at 9pm, as well as the DTKC show, which is on After Raw, uh, on the same channel, is Wrestling Soup, who is on 9.30 on Thursdays, the Saturday morning shitbox presented by Wrestling Soup, is sometime on Saturday, and after pay-per-views, Wrestling Soup also do post-pay-per-view shows. Also on Podbean um, is the Solar Monster Sounds Off, who drops an episode every Sunday. And it's, they are really good shows and should be shows that you check out. If you would like to follow me on Twitter, I am at SDD916. And if you would like to f- join our Facebook, my Facebook page, it is the Sky Genie unofficial official group page. And if you would like to donate to the show to show your support for the show, go to the home page of my YouTube channel and click on the donate button. You can donate as much as you like and your donations will go towards the show and helping improve the quality of the show so you get a way better show than you're getting right now. For those that were worrying about Genie Jr. about getting hit by a car and killed, well, all I have to say is, well, he's actually alive and he's fine and and he's up and about doing his thing, fucking around weird objects, so he's fine. I did write down some notes for Raw that I was going to do a review on, but I figure since I pretty much missed all week, I was figure I might, might as well just cut my losses and start on for the next week because I didn't end up watching SmackDown, and because I, I was planning to do a big, a one big show because I did the the weekend show weekend show with TNA Bound for Glory and Ring of Honor, but then I didn't do the. WWE, I was going to put WWE in, in a separate one as well, as one big giant podcast, uh, podcast, but since, you know, that's life, and eh, last week didn't happen, it didn't really matter anyway, also last week I need to clear something else up, um, usually I do these in parts, and ju- just to sort of make it a little bit easier, pretty much or the same day after the show, because it's in the middle of the day when pay-per-views and shows happen for me, and then it's later on at night, I'll record it. Um, (laughs) What happened was, um, I actually put, uh, reused some of of my old recordings, because I figured, well, why reuse it? And then I happened to listen back to 
the last episode and I happened to listen that I was throwing back throwing to a TNA show and I wasn't at all and some TNA news and I wasn't at all so <laughs> so if you wondering it's amateur hour here and that's what this show is all about and it wouldn't be the worst show for nothing right really couldn't be stuff with, with the pre-show stuff because I didn't really watch it but we open up the main show with the WWE Championship Triple Threat Match yes that is right they opened with the WWE World Heavyweight Championship Match where to begin well first off the match order is in this on this card is pretty much flipped upside down and whoever made this and whoever made this decision I reckon was really stupid because <laughs> you'll still see later on but but I will say that this, the championship match was a really excellent match well worked all, all three men Cena Cena Styles and Ambrose really pulled something else to, out to make a really good match. And the the pattern is we're having the after, since after the draft, before the draft was ended in the first place, there was always a major title that ended up opening pay per views. And and it, and we're only a few months into it, and we're already seeing this. I mean, it kind of devalues the championship to me, and that's their main title. And I think it's kind of wrong the way they treat it. But hey, what are you gonna do? We then had Nikki Bella versus Carmella, and I have to say this: I really could give two fucks about how hard Nikki Bella worked to get back from a neck injury. I mean, who the fuck cares? <laughs> I mean, she was never good in the ring. She's... And you can see that she wrestles still the diva style, and you can, and I think it might be because we're accustomed to people like Charlotte and Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks and all them, but it really... Ex- having watched that really exposed it just how bad Nikki Bella is and really to put it on it to have her in a in the main in the main feature I mean this was kind of stupid I, I know the championship kind of killed the rest of the night not except for one match but hey th- th- this match could have been done without anyway and Carmella is green, but then Nikki Bella is meant to be a veteran, and okay, when you have neck in, neck injuries, it kind of limits you. But still, that was really a really bad match. We then had the WWE Tag Team Championship match between Heath Slater, with Heath Slater and Rhino taking on taking on the Usos, and in a surprise. Surprised, Slater and Rhino came out the winners when everybody thought the Usos were going to get get it. But and last month when they won it, the feel good story was there, but here it wasn't. It was gone. And any hope and there's times when storylines end, and WWE tends to drag him out a little bit. And this is one that definitely should have ended. We then have Baron Corbin versus Jack Swagger, and enough said. But we then had come to what I thought was the match of the night, was The Miz defending the Intercontinental Championship against Dolph Ziggler, putting his career on the line. And and I saw people getting mad that Dolph Ziggler lost and saying he should have retired, and really going into it, this storyline was tailor-made for Dolph Ziggler to go over and win. I mean, if anybody thought that Dolph Ziggler was actually going to lose this match, I mean, you all got worked. Sorry. You all got worked. I reckon it was a really good match. Um, The appearances by the Spirit Squad I thought was pretty interesting. And... 
Yeah, I, I reckon this was the Miz's best match he's ever had. And that's saying a lot. This is the be- best that the Miz has had in his career. It even overshadows his world title reign, I think. And and I think we'll probably get a rematch with this down the road, but if so, bring it on, because this was a really, really well-built and really well-worked match. We, we then go on to have what was meant to be the women's championship match, but was cancelled due to Becky Lynch suffering an injury. And it was Alexa Bliss versus Naomi. I mean, the match was crap. And the wrong person went over, in my opinion. It should have been Alexa Bliss when she was the number one contender. I mean, okay, you might further Naomi along, but this was really, really a pointless match. But we then go into what was became the main event, and this was this was just there with Orton versus Bray Wyatt. I mean, the surprise at the end was pretty cool with Luke Harper appearing, but really, and but really, it wasn't anything special. I mean. I was hoping you know, they were going to debut Sister Abigail, but they didn't, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty down on this whole show, and I think this is by far the worst show since after the draft. And that's probably saying a lot, considering that there have been good good and bad... Missing, you could miss some shows here and there of WWE, but if this is... And if you're wondering which one to miss, this is one of them. And I, th- that will be it for this guy Jenny show for this episode. Um, I don't plan to be bringing out a show tomorrow. I'm going to be attempting to SmackDown, making one big show. Um, yeah, because I don't really, unless there's some news that breaks. Um. Pretty much that's going to be how it goes. I'm going to, I mean, doing pay per views and, and WB is pretty much all I'm pretty much going to cover unless I watch a random show or an indie show or something. I'll review it, but otherwise, <laughs> this will be pretty much how it will go. Because um, I don't really have time to do it every day because, I mean, I have a life outside too. But anyway, uh, check us out next time on the Sky Junior Show. See ya.